Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Defender and we're gonna see how dirty she got over this past winter storm that we had here in Texas. It was a unprecedented winter storm here in San Antonio specifically in my home. It was really bad. We lost water, we lost electricity. Outside of what you saw in my last two videos of me having fun in the snow, outside of that, it was just survival mode. Um, this Defender was a beast out in the snow, out in the mud, out in the ice. It ripped right through everything. Uh, it made a way when there was no way. Uh, it made a road when there were no roads people would follow. Uh, I was able to rescue a few people that were stuck. I used the tow hooks in the back. Went and helped out one of my buddies who was on his way to Las Vegas, but his Ford pickup truck is a two wheel drive and he got stuck in, I don't know, some some uh, icy hill. He was parked on the side, went and rescued him, uh, took him back home, because uh, even if we would have taken him to the airport, he would have been stuck because there were no flights leaving San Antonio. Uh, with that said, if you are thinking about getting a Defender and or you're building one online or thinking of building one online, I would highly recommend this vehicle. Personally, this thing has been through sand. It's been through snow. It's been through mud has it ever gotten stuck hell no this thing like i said is a beast it's worth every cent the the air suspension i just wouldn't even feel any bumps uh the more that i've owned this the longer i've owned it the more miles i've put on this thing the better it's getting what i can say is even the 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 tires if you saw my last video i was all up on the tires the tires on this thing i i opted in for the off-road tires it's a 350 fifty dollar option when you're checking the boxes and building your your defender they're the off-road tires that made by goodyear the goodyear tires i keep bragging about they're the all-terrain adventure goodyear they're 19 inch I don't know if they're snow rated. Let's see if I see a snowflake anywhere on there. I don't see a snowflake, but I will say from personal use, these some bitches are snow rated. I can't find anything other than the freaking horn. Like the horn, when you lock it, it's got the shittiest horn you've ever heard on anything. I think that's the only thing that they really messed up on. I don't know if it's just my horn or if it's, I mean, the horn is good, but when you lock it, like when you lock it, and you or you double tap to because you press it once and it locks if you double tap it it makes like a little beep like a the worst oh my god i wish i could use the word but i'm not but anyway it just sounds like a like the weakest thing you've ever heard coming from the toughest looking thing that you've ever seen let's test out the alarm i got the key right here That's the most disappointing sound. It's embarrassing. <laughs> the windshield wipers, the spray nozzles are built into each wiper. So it, there's no nozzles that, that shoot, that are usually mounted somewhere on the hood. These things are on the, the wiper and it just, it sprays and you're wiping. And it just, dude, it just makes sense. It makes, it works perfectly. Even though it may not make sense because I'm a terrible way of describing it, but it works a hundred percent I mean it's freaking awesome the rear camera the smart view uh, rear view camera that's mounted on the back of the top of the, the the fender that thing it's amazing get it also like if you're building your your defender check the box it's worth it I think it's like four hundred dollars I know four hundred dollars is a lot of money because you can go get yourself an Xbox but screw the Xbox for the PlayStation this is so worth it because in the real world, when you're driving, it, it does wonders. Sure, when you first hop in and you're getting used to it, you're going to get nauseous and your eyes might get cross-eyed for like a couple days. But once you get used to it, it, it's badass. And plus, you get to be nosy with the people that are pulled up behind you. So anyway, let's go do a walk around. I'll show you a video of it. And let's see how dirty this bad boy got. And then uh, we're going to go wash it. Cool? All right, see you in a little bit.
wanted to go over some things on a serious note. This weather that we had was a winter storm disaster uh, here in Texas. And I wanted to go over a few realities because it was the first day that it snowed. Everyone was outside having a blast. They were enjoying the snow. People were out on their sleds. I was out doing donuts in the middle of fields and wherever I could find. I'm not going to uh, confess to anything, but I was out there doing donuts. And outside of that, day two, it was a nightmare. Why was it a nightmare? Because we never had this much snow in over a hundred years in San Antonio. It affected everyone in Texas. It hit me right at home. Uh, when I called my wingman of 95, he's 95 years old, and he was laying down and his lights were out and there was, he had water, but it was only cold water. At my apartment, all I had was, I had power, but I, I didn't have water. Uh, but when I called him, I find out that he has uh, no power since six o'clock in the evening the day before, and he'd been just laying in the, in, in the dark, in the cold, laying in his bed, shivering. I immediately hung up and uh, we went and got in the Defender and went to rescue him. The Defender allowed me to tear through the snow, the ice, all the terrible road conditions in order to get to my wingman and uh, pretty much rescue him. Uh, I don't know what would have happened if he had been in the house or um, just laying there in the cold. But anyway, uh, that didn't happen. I was able to get him in the Defender and uh, I made it safely back to my place and where he stayed for the next three days. And to finish up, I guess I would say I'm glad I got my Defender when I got it. If you're thinking about buying a Defender, I highly recommend it. It's definitely the best 4x4 by far. And I would consider, or you would consider, purchasing one reach out to my buddy tom at land rover of bernie i'll leave their uh, information in the description below and if you've seen this video up to this point how about smashing that like button giving me a subscribe that would be great i would appreciate it but until the next video cheers